Hi, I'm Troy with Wines, Pines, and Canines. Linda and I own a Rockwood GeoPro 19 FBS, and we've owned this camper about two years. One thing we know about campers is that all campers need repair. Our camper is no exception. We noticed cracks starting to show up in the metal frame that surrounds our microwave and holds it in place, and we were concerned because we were about a week away from headed out west, and we had to find a solution. We'd seen other people online having problems with this issue, so we looked in our camper and sure enough we had the same cracks that other people were experiencing. We reached out to Forest River. Uh, that was no problem at all. It was $35. They were going to ship one to us, but it wasn't going to arrive before we were going to take off and head for our trip out west. So it forced us to solve the problem ourselves, and I chose to use one of my favorite products, JB Weld. Well, we're here out west now. We've traveled 2,400 miles across some incredibly bumpy roads at times. Our repair that we made before we left is holding up real well. The crack hasn't come back. It hasn't gotten larger. Now, we are going to order the metal frame when we get home. In the meantime, we're going to show you the repair that we did and the improvement that I think we made to the way that metal frame is installed in the first place to help this uh, situation not happen again. I do apologize for not having a video about the removal of the microwave and the face frame, but with Linda and I working together, no one was left to run the camera. It really takes two people. To do that and to get this project going, you got three screws across the bottom, three screws across the top. When you pull those out, and they're fairly long screws, you pull this whole assembly forward, and then you have two screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. You pull those four small screws out, then the whole metal frame comes off the microwave, you can set that down and you got two choices. One, you can unplug the microwave and take it for, out for whatever reason, or you can just push the microwave into the cavity and go on about your business. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wipe down the surface with a detergent. First, remove any surface contaminants. Then we're going to follow up with, I choose to use a sanding block, but you can use sandpaper or emery cloth, and you're going to rough the surface up. JB Weld comes in two parts. You have the steel portion and you have the hardener. It's an epoxy and you mix equal proportions together and at that time, once you mix the two together, you've got a clock ticking on how long this product is going to be useful to you. I prefer to use toothpicks to stir it and to apply it because it gives me a lot more control. A few days ago, I applied some JB Weld to the back side of this frame here and here. Um, fast forward a couple days, and I've decided I'm going to add a little bit more on these exposed cracks on the face frame just to give it a little bit higher chance of success. All right, now a few moments after I apply it, I work it into the crack very well. Then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub away the excess. What you're trying to do is force the material down into this fissure. And at that time, once it cures, it ought to give you a lot better chance of success. In repairing the steel face frame, it occurred to me that what I need to do is probably find a way to kind of prevent it from happening again. I've repaired the cracks. Next thing I'm going to do, take this little piece of one by two material and I'm gonna lay it in behind the frame so that these two screws go directly into something more substantial. And every other location uh, where the steel panel uh, screws into the face frame, it's going into wood. These two places right here are the only places that's not happening. They're screwing right through particle wood and it's just not very supportive. In just a few minutes, I'm going to attach the wood, and hopefully this will prevent this from being a continuing problem. All right, so I've got the glue applied, and I've got my clamps in place. What I'm going to do is take a screw and run it in from the back side. Now, I picked this screw specifically because it'll go all the way through this wood and only halfway into the face frame. The last thing we want is to penetrate through the front of the frame.
I'm gonna put little pre-drills into this wood so that I don't have to try so hard or risk splitting this wood when I go to install it. Reinstall, as you might imagine, is very similar to the uninstall method. You've got to basically put these two screws on either side into the microwave first to kind of get the frame going to the microwave. Once you get that done, you can lift it up, set it in the hole. Then you have to attach these six screws once you line it up in the hole properly and line it up with the holes that are already in place. It's really quite simple. It takes just a few moments. So that's what we did. We wanted to alert others that this issue exists as well. If you need to make a repair in the out camping, the JB Weld is something you can find in almost any hardware store in America. Almost every Walmart I imagine on earth has it. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.